Hello guys, welcome to our class for today. This is Noble Mind Science Tutors Online and uh, you are welcome to our physics class for today. Today we are going to be looking at electric currents. We will talk about potential difference, electromotive force and uh, the different types of circuits. So this is more or less like introduction to electric current. You know we've discussed, we've treated electric charges and electric um, field so we've also looked at uh, lines of force of electric field and magnetic field so today we are looking at electric current potential difference electromotive force and uh, types of circuits so this is like an introduction class to current electricity right so if you have your writing materials ready we'll be going straight to our class but before then please if you have been visiting this channel and you have not subscribed then you are not doing us um, a, a, little, a bit a bit of good right so please click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell so that whenever we upload a new video youtube will just give you a notification all right so you can also reach us through the whatsapp number that is showing on your screen and please you can give us a like give us a positive comment also invite your friends so that they can come and enjoy what you are enjoying this is physics class direct to your doorsteps and as we have already said we are taking the um the lecture series bit by bit according to how it is structured in the nigeria curriculum of physics for ss1 ss2 to ss3 so you see that in some of our classes we just discuss some basic definitions in such classes we are looking at the ss1 and ss2 then later on was also um we also bring out other videos that will treat those topic topics in more details like what we want to do now in electricity is introduction to electricity in our other subsequent videos we will also discuss electricity in more details okay so what we are treating in is introduction to electricity i will take it in such a way that the ss1 the senior secondary school student I think, uh, senior secondary two can understand what we are saying. We don't want to model up so much information so that you don't get confused, right? So for this particular class, this is introduction to current electricity. So most details might not be there, but we are introducing you to what current electricity is all about. So this class will be very suitable for those who are just being introduced to electricity in physics. Then in our subsequent video, we are going to take it further in detail so that those who are in higher classes will also have a better grasp and understanding. Is that okay? So please, let's just go straight to our class if you are ready. Current electricity. Okay, we talked about charge and we said that uh, an electric charge can either be at rest. Okay. An electric charge can either be at rest or it can be in motion. All right. So an electric charge that is at rest is called static el el electricity, and that was what we discussed before now. An electric charge that is at rest is called static electricity. Then an electric charge that is in motion. An electric charge that is in motion is called current electricity and that is what our discussion is going to focus on in, in today's uh, class so current electricity current or electric current is defined as the rate of flow of electric charge along a conductor so when you say rate of flow it means you are talking about the rate of flow of the charge per time so rate has to do with time so it's like quantity of charge per time that is electric current so electric current is represented by i the quantity of charge by q and time by t so electric current i is equal to q over t and q is equal to i t i t means current time say time so where q is quantity of electric charge and q is measured in columns q is measured in uh, columns all right time is measured in second current is measured in ampere and one amp is equals to one color per second 
what amps is equal to one column per second that is column per second column per second a column is the quantity of electricity passing a section of a conductor in one second when the current is one amp okay so other units of uh, current are we have a millimeter uh, milli milliameter uh, we have a milliameter and we have microameter and the instrument that is used to measure current is the ammeter we have ammeter for measurement of current we also have a milliameter for measurement of small current and very small current are measured using a galvanometer so in your laboratory, your school laboratory, you might have a galvanometer for your current electricity um, experiment, or you might have a milliameter as the case may be. Okay, so these are instruments that are used for the measurement of current. So we've seen that current is quantity of charge per time. All right, so let's go to the law that governs the flow of current. The law that governs the flow of current. The law that governs the flow of current is called the Ohm's law. The Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that the current flowing through a metallic conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across its end, provided temperature and other physical conditions of the conductor are kept constant. So, mathematically stated, current is directly proportional to potential difference. A potential difference is measured in volts. Okay, so current is proportional to now the constant of proportionality is what is called arrow and that is a uh, resistance the constant of proportionality is what is arrow is arrow and that is what is called resistance so current is equals to if you make current the subject of the formula you have voltage over resistance or if you make resistance or arrow the subject you have voltage over current so these are some formulas that you need to take note of while working with current electricity that's okay these three formulas are very key while you are working with current electricity all right so this is typically this is a typical question that you can encounter and in your um, uh, physics uh, question paper you will see some questions like this so this one is easy to solve calculate the quantity of charge flowing through a conductor if a current of 10 amps passes through a conductor in 10 seconds okay in 10 seconds so we have said that current is equals to what we said that current i is equals to um, quantity of charge all over time okay so here you are be giving current you'll be giving i to be equals to 10 amp and your time is equals to 10 seconds so what you now do is just make your quantity of charge which is what you are looking for the subject of the formula so that will give you current times uh, time right so just do that multiplication add so that you have your answer readily so this gives you 100 column remember the unit of quantity of charge is the column so when you have questions like this this is how to go about them i hope this one is relatively simple okay as i said this is introduction to current electricity so we are taking it one step at a time right so i'm not bringing in difficult questions for now but it, it builds up gradually is that okay so take this one this is just an introduction i hope this one is simple but this is how to go about solving this kind of problem is that okay you try as much as possible to know these formulas all right so that is that potential difference potential difference potential difference the potential difference between two points 
in an electric feed is the amount of work done in moving a unit positive charge of one column from one point to another and in most cases when you are talking about potential it has to do with either its point is at a lower potential or another point has a higher potential so in most cases it is moving from a lower potential to a higher potential is that okay so potential difference measured in volts the unit is volts and it is the instrument that is used for its determination is the voltmeter the voltmeter so mathematically stated potential difference v is equals to work done which is w all over quantity of charge that is v is equals to w over q and work done is equals to quantity of charge times potential difference and that is it work done work done is equals to quantity of charge times potential difference okay so also take note of this equation take note of this equation so so far uh, I've given you about three equations for in this particular class now I've told, giving you that current is equals to quantity of charge over time and that voltage is equals to current times resistance then this one has work done is equals to quantity of charge times voltage or voltage is equals to work done over quantity of charge because as time goes on we're going to see how all these equations they are interrelated all right so take note of this and i will move down to solve one or problem right so this is another sample question see a work of 30 joules is done in transferring 5 millicoulomb of charge from a point a to a point b in an electric field what is the potential difference between point a and b okay so here we have said that potential difference pd which is measured in volt equals to what said so it is work done all over quantity of charge okay so in this particular question you are given a work done is equals to 30 joules and quantity of charge is given to you to be 5 milli coulomb and this is also the same thing as 5 milli coulomb milli coulomb Okay, so when you substitute all these informations into this equation, you will have that work done is 30 all over 5 times 10 raised to power minus 3. Okay, so when you work this out with your calculator, you are going to have that potential difference equals to 6 times 10 raised to power 3 volts okay so the equations are short and they are actually simple to use as you can see the equations are short they are short and they are simple to use so if you have any question like this this is how to go about it the key point is for you to remember the formula to apply okay the key point is for you to remember the formula to apply potential difference equals to work done all over quantity of charge current is equal to quantity of charge all over time and voltage from ohm's law is equals to current times resistance all right so this is a potential difference and this is how to solve some problems related to potential difference this is introduction to current electricity all right this is electromotive force so in a cell some if a cell is open or if a circuit is open it will not drive current okay it will not carry current to an external resistance or an external resistor so the emf of cell is the work done 
in driving one coulomb of electricity run a cycle or it is the potential difference between the terminals of a cell when the cell is not delivering any current in an external circuit or when it is in an open circuit okay so in very shortly we are going to see the different types of circuits is that okay i will show you the different types of circuits so that you know what is an open circuit and what is a closed circuit or what is a short circuit so i will be showing you different types of circuit very shortly so emf of a cell is the work done in driving one coulomb of electricity run a circuit and so this emf is equal to work done all over quantity of charge one coulomb of electricity is equal to quantity of charge oh, coulomb is equal to quantity of charge so e is equal to work done over q and work done is emf times quantity of charge if you look at this equation it is like the equation for potential difference okay you know potential difference will replace the emf with potential difference so the emf or potential difference they are used interchangeably and they have the same uh, unit which is the volt they have the same unit which is the volt okay so that is the emf of a cell that is the emf of a cell okay so we are going to look at uh, we'll be looking at now we'll look at electric circuits as i said you know i said i was going to show you different types of circuits so let's just go straight and look at the different types of circuits that we have okay so what is an electric circuit an electric circuit is the part provided for the flow of electric current simple the part through which an electric current flows through is known as an electric uh, circuit so generally electric circuit they consist of different uh, parts you know definitely before you can generate an electric energy you must have a source the source of current which is mostly in most cases it is your battery okay so the battery is connected using a conductor which is a wire maybe to a bulb it is when you connect the battery and then you close your terminal that you now have some your terminal will look like a switch so when you close the switch you will see that your bulb will come to life your bulb will light up okay so if you know that if you know that so then we have three different types of circuits we have three different types of circuit one is an open circuit in the case of an open circuit the key along the conducting part is open and that is what you have here this is the switch or this is the key this is the source of current this is the load which is the bulb electric bulb or a resistor then this is yours when you close when you open this switch it is an open circuit in this particular instance there is no continuous flow of current through the load bulb as such the bulb does not light so this is an example of an open circuit is that okay because you can be asked simply to draw a circuit that choose you know, draw the diagram of an open circuit so this is how to draw the diagram of an open circuit all right then you have a closed circuit in the case of a closed circuit the key is closed look at the key here the key is closed in this case there is continuous flow of current through the load bulb as such the bulb does light up so you know when you close here this bulb will come to life okay so this is an example of a closed circuit then the last one is short circuit in this circuit there is in this particular circuit there is no load on the circuit okay so in this case there is no load on the circuit which means that this bulb will not be there so you call it a short circuit okay there is no load on the circuit so these are the different types of uh, circuits these are the different types of circuit but how is electricity generated 
it is very very important for us to know how electricity is generated and that is what we are going to discuss now production of electric current so how is electric current produced or generated electric current can be generated from chemical energy how either from simple batteries like dry cells or from lead acid battery that are called cumulative batteries okay like the battery that they use in car in car or in vehicles that those batteries are called cumulative or lead acid batteries they are bigger more bulkier and heavier and they contain acid inside of them is that okay so the chemical energy the chemical energy in the lead acid batteries is used to generate uh, electric currents okay so in most cases in your laboratory the simple one is to use a simple cell and the simple cell consists of two um, it normally consists of two electrodes the um, the positive and the negative electrode the positive electrode is the anode and the negative electrode is the cathode is that okay so when you put the positive and the ele negative electrode in an electrolyte the electrolyte could be h2so4 that is tetrazo acid okay dilute tetrazo dilute tetrazo surface acid so when you put the two electrodes inside dilute tetrazo acid and you connect them to um, to a load and then you close the circuit current will start to flow current will flow normally from the positive electrode which is the anode to the cathode while electrons will flow from the cathode to the anode is that okay so as the current is flowing you find out that the bulb will light up okay so that is how to use this chemical energy to generate electricity now why this electricity is being generated there are some defects that occur in this type of simple cells and these defects are called polarization and local action they are called polarization and local action so yes those are some of the defects that comes out from these uh, simple cells polarization and local action okay so polarization is just formation of hydrogen bubbles around the um, around the electrodes and this can be removed by using a depolarizer which is um, in most cases you use manganese dioxide then local action is deposition of zinc or deposition of impurities on the zinc plates okay and that can be removed by using mercury to rub they call it amalgamation amalgamation we use mercury to rub the surface of the zinc plate to remove local action okay so that is how to generate uh, electricity from chemical energy and then some of the defects and how to remove them electricity can also be generated from heat energy by the process of thermal electric effects or thermionic emission thermionic emission okay so the, from that method we can also generate electricity what are from mechanical energy yes well, you know your simple your normal generator your normal generator converts mechanical energy to um, electrical energy so with a simple dynamo you can actually generate electricity from a generator like what we have in electrics uh, in hydroelectric dams then also the latest one now is solar energy so when you have uh, these solar harvesters like your solar panels you can actually generate electricity from the sun energy solar has to do with the sun okay so solar has to do with the sun so you can actually generate electricity from uh, solar energy okay so these are the different ways of production of electric uh, current uh, you know for a current to flow you need to have either a conductor insulator doesn't allow current to flow through them so 
electrical conductors, there are materials that allow free flow of electricity to them with uh, easily, right? So all metals are examples of uh, electrical conductors. The insulators are materials that do not allow easy flow of electricity to them, like you have plastic, wood, ebonite, or glass. All these are known as insulators. That's okay. So as I said, this is introduction to current electricity. All right, and I hope you understand what we have discussed so that um, as we move ahead, you get a better understanding and graphs. So thank you guys. This is um, yeah, just a, a question for your review. Find the work done in moving a charge two columns between two points X and Y in an electric field E the potential difference is 100 volt. Okay, so we said that potential difference equals to work, work done all over quantity of charge. Potential difference equals to work done all over quantity of charge. So work done is equals to potential difference times say uh, charge. Okay, so with that, you can solve that problem easily. So, guys, thank you so much. This year we are stopping our class, but before we go, please, if you have not subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? If you like what we are doing, please subscribe to our channel. Your subscription will continue to encourage us to do better I and mean, to do more for you. That's okay. What we are doing is to help our students because we know that sometimes um many schools don't even have science instructors or science teachers and even when they have sometimes they don't they from over from my experience even when they have they don't really have a good understanding of the principles of physics and that is it is that uh, singular passion that has made us to put this together is that okay? So we are working as a team, but I am the driver of the team, or I'm the team lead. Okay, so please subscribe to our channel, encourage us, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, so that we can continue to dish out quality videos in physics to you. Other videos will be coming up in different uh, subjects, but for now, we are working on physics. Right, we are working on physics. So you can reach us right the WhatsApp note that is that is showing on our, on our screen. Then if you check our video, the links, you can click on the link, right? So that you can to take you to some of our, 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 of our other videos. It can also take you to our WhatsApp page. All right, so I remain notable. Michael, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you. And we beg you to also invite your friends to come and enjoy what you are enjoying. So we'll see you in our next video. Have a nice time and have a good day. Thanks.